two teams here that came into the NFL together back in 1995. And off we go between the Jags and the Panthers. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he fires one that's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, an aggressive play call to start this game. It backfired, but aggressive, no question about that. Is that one of those statement calls? Trying to let you know that they're going to be aggressive right out of the gate. But that one hung up just... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. And this is going to be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. Oh, we got plenty of fight, baby. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And he's going to go out of bounds. Gigantic loss. Kept retreating, steps out. That goes down as a sack and a big loss of yardage. So backed up closer to the danger zone here from the two. This is second and long. Lawrence from his end zone. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. Touchdown, Jaguars! Marvin Jones, 98 yards. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly for six. Extra point up and through. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone structure here because they started to tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well when you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. 
And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And this is caught. Touchdown. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chanel. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A play fake for Robinson. Now Lawrence. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning threw 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. And that's caught inside the 35. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Cam Newton now with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now first quarter and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about Let's the 17-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. On second and ten, Lawrence. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A.J. Boye with a pick, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Back up. 
Now following the interception, here's Newton. He's going to look deep for more. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore, 42 yards. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And a route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. To throw on second and ten, Lawrence escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. On third down, Lawrence. That's going to be caught. It's Chenault. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Again, it's Lawrence. Jones has it. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. From midfield now, Lawrence. And my goodness, another interception. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And you have to wonder, Charles, in a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? But based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Now Newton on first down. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10. And It'll bring up second. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got it facing a second and long situation. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. Mike 5-4, Mike 5-4, Mike 5-4. I got one, I got one. Gun, gun, gun. Mike 54. <laughs> Third and long, it's Newton. Forced out to his left. 
The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. And Cam Newton's not coming off the field. He'll keep the offense out to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Newton. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Arnold. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Man open, here is Jones. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone. A touchdown, Jacksonville. James Robinson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars get a score closer. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches? And this is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's a throw again is Lawrence. 
And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Lawrence will throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Flush to his right, and he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Going for it, here's ETN. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jeremy Chin picks it off. He's got the lane, and there he goes. 30, 10, and he will bring this one back. It's a...